Okay, Nathalie, over to you. All right, Sherry, thank you. If you combine water sports action and creative design, you get some unbelievable art. Surf artist Jay Alders is here to tell us much more. He has a special event in town this weekend at Quicksilver. And Jay, I just asked you a few minutes ago, what's a surf artist? Uh, well, I guess you could say a surf artist is a surfer that is uh, drawn towards uh, drawing and painting and creating things uh, geared around surf and surf culture, oceans, surfing. Um, you know, that sort of uh, genre. So it's safe to assume that you're a surfer, right? That is a safe <laughs> assumption, yes. So you get a lot of your inspiration while you're out on the water? Yeah, I love uh, creating based on uh, the ocean and surfing. It's just an amazing, um, you know, subject matter. The water, the reflections, uh, all the beautiful scenes that you get as a surfer. All right, and how long have you been doing it? Well, I've been doing art since I was uh, pretty much a toddler, and then um, I guess you could say I started doing uh, art geared around surfing probably about five, six, seven years ago. I started uh, gearing my art more towards around that uh, area of study uh, as soon as I moved to the beach. That right. became more of a subject matter of mine. And we're seeing some of your work right here. This one is so cool. Talk to me about this. Uh, that is Cut Lip. That is a piece that I did uh, probably about three or four years ago, I suppose. And I had started that piece when I was back home and uh, took a trip to, I believe it was Hawaii at the time, and finished it when I got back. And a lot of the color palettes and the, uh, the inspiration came from that Hawaiian trip to Oahu. Right, and what about this one right in between us? That here? is right between us. Oh, this one oh, right here. That there one. we go. Okay, here we go. Uh, this piece is called Solitude, and this piece I did uh, as a tribute to uh, longboard surfing. A lot of times, I you know, when their waves aren't uh, quite ready for your shortboard, you bring your longboard out and you cruise out there at dawn patrol. That's why the and, guy is so long on yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> he's cruising. Uh, so I call it Solitude because it's uh, it was a tribute to some time I spent alone in the water. Every surfer can relate to that, and. Uh, it was, a, it was a nice time in my life when I painted that. All right, and what about this last one here? Which one are we looking at here? Mm. Oh, it's two eeny, separate meeny, ones. Mo. It looks like it's one. Sorry. Up okay. here, this is uh, called top. High and Mighty, and I wanted to do a piece that described both the, uh, the beauty and the power of the ocean, and uh, incoming sets of waves is one of the most beautiful things and most uh, massive, awesome things to witness as a surfer. All right, and tell us about this event going on tomorrow at Quicksilver. Well, tomorrow we're going to be at uh, Quicksilver and Lincoln Road. I'm going to be doing a signing from 1 to 3. Um, Quicksilver in uh, Miami has been a big supporter of mine. Uh, thank you to Gary. And I'm um, really excited about that. It should be fun. All right, well, thank you yeah. so much for being here with thank us today you so and much, sharing Natalie. your beautiful pieces. They really are unique. I appreciate it. I've never it. heard of a surf artist before or well, met one for that have. matter. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Jay. Well, you can check out all of Jay's amazing prints this Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Quicksilver store on Lincoln Road. To learn more about this talented artist, you can visit his website. It's jaolders.com. We'll be right back after the break.